everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is my video on how i maintain my hair color as you guys are probably aware if you guys are not new here i have had red hair now for six months which is insane <laughs> um i think this is the longest apart from blonde or brown that i've had my hair color for um and i thought i would share my tips and tricks sorry i thought i smelled bird <laughs> um this isn't the only fun colour I've had, by the way. If you guys have been here a while, I've had purple, I've had pink, I've had peach. Um, years and years ago before YouTube, I had like dip dye blue in my hair and I had dip dye purple. Um, but I have only had like full on, full head of colour for the last two years. Um, and in that, I had six months where I had um, blonde hair when I was trying to let my hair ref not reset not refresh what's the word rest have a rest have a break um also all of my notes are on my tablet so if i keep looking down <laughs> then that's why um so this video is aimed at people who have got semi-permanent hair color or are looking to have to dye their hair with a semi-permanent hair color um none of the permanent color um i have had permanent hair color in my hair i've had brown mainly um for two years plus probably about two years um oh, I'm back my door um that is the longest i've had brown hair for i have had it before uh i can't remember how long for um but yeah i can't i didn't have a hair care routine back then so i can't really tell you how to look after permanent hair dyed hair, permanent hair dyed hair, permanent dyed hair. <laughs> um, of course, semi permanent is only semi permanent. It's not forever. Um, it can be a bit of a bitch to get out of your hair, as the purple was very made me very aware of that. <laughs> it took me quite a few months to remove it, and my hair was a bit of a mess <laughs> for quite a while. I feel like I know what I'm doing now. But yeah. So yeah, if you are. If you are looking to either, if you're either looking to dye your hair a fun bright colour or, well, you use semi-permanent hair dye or you've already got semi-permanent hair colour in your hair. I'm going to keep saying semi-permanent hair colour hair in multiple sentences. If you already have um, semi-permanent dye in your hair, there we go. <laughs> um, and you want to know why it might be coming out of your hair a bit quickly or you want to know how to prolong it so you don't have to keep dyeing it often then just keep on watching so tip number one is to prolong your hair between washes this is not only going to help with the longevity of your hair color it is also going to help with the health of your hair so i have never been one to wash my hair every day that's too much effort twice a week was where i used when i used to do it years ago <laughs> And then this was before I started working for the NHS and my shifts are all fucked. So I, I think, I mean, I have, I wash my hair like once every five, six, seven days. Um, I have gone longer. I have gone about nine and that was because of my shift pattern. Um, and cause most of the time I keep my hair up in a bun, not a bun, a ponytail. So it doesn't really matter. And also the oil helps to put my hair up. So it's a plus um but yeah <laughs> i would say um dry shampoo is your best friend when you're training your hair to last between washes also a pro tip with dry shampoo is to put it in like a day before you know it's gonna get oily so say your hair gets oily around the fourth day put dry shampoo in on the fourth and uh, third day i thought i had to burp then what is my body doing in this video <laughs> But yeah that is the main thing i would say is don't wash your hair as often which i know it can be hard but even when my hair was blonde i was only washing it like twice a week max i do wash my hair twice a week sometimes but it depends on my schedule for work so i uh today for me it's a wednesday and i washed my hair last friday so it's been five days but i 
I won't be able to wash it before Saturday. So there was, I was like, nah, I'm not going to leave it that long. I'm, I'm sorry, but I cannot leave it that long now. Um, but yeah, that's just, that's the one main thing is to prolong your hair, your hair. Prolong the time between washing your hair. My words are not coming out today very well. Tip number two is to wash your hair with lukewarm or cold water. Now I know we're in winter guys, I'm fully aware. And I know that washing your hair with cold water does not sound appealing right now. Even if it's lukewarm, just not hot. I mean hot water is not good for your hair anyway, but if you wash your hair with cold water it will help, trust me. So when, you're, when your hair is wet, when your hair is like when your hair is yeah when your hair is wet hang on, i need to look at my notes for this because i wrote this down i do not remember ah. so okay there you go so heat expands the hair strand that's what i was trying to say um and then shampoo will pull out the color from that hair from that hair from the hair strand so yeah so when heat heat expands things heat yeah you know you style your hair with heat tools it expands the hair essentially and colour can be stripped out especially if you use hot water why do I feel like my camera angle has changed? I've not touched it <laughs> weird I know it's not straight either but neither am I so it's fine um, but yeah I feel like <laughs> I feel like that is the hot tip is to wash your hair in cold or lukewarm water you're supposed to when you rinse out hair dye any like semi-permanent hair dye you're supposed to rinse it in cold water anyway like rinse it out as i had that experience earlier um but yeah you, you just use cold or lukewarm water it's much it's not better for managing your hair especially if it's thick like mine but it's it's better at pro i have noticed a difference when using hot versus cold water so yeah <laughs> just do it just do it my third thing is products that can help and that is literally what i've written down um, so when you're washing your hair, try to find a shampoo that doesn't contain sulfates in it. Now sulfates are the ingredient that strip your hair colour. I, when trying to remove it, my camera angle has moved again. What the fuck is wrong with my camera today? It just doesn't want to stay. It's moved again. I am going to kill my camera right now because it just does not want to stay. Where the fuck I put it? I am going to have words with it. just gonna keep moving sorry um so yeah so products so sulfate is the main ingredient that strips your hair color when you are trying to remove a hair color or well, yeah when you're trying to remove a hair color or lighten it up i would recommend using a, a dandruff shampoo or a shampoo that has sulfate in it because that will really strip your hair and also hot water when you try to do that too but um head and shoulders for removing hair dye don't use head and shoulders if you're trying to keep your hair colour, you guys. Just don't. My camera is being a cunt now. It's already moving. I need a better tripod. <laughs> um, I also so I've also got another thing which is um a scalp massager brush. Actually, mine's in my drawer uh, here. This is the one I use. Oh, it's got hair on it. I literally used it earlier. This is from Tangle Teaser. These ones are about eight quid. These are the best ones I've found. I've had one from Amazon. It's not that great, but ones like this where it's got thinner brush brushes, bristles, bristles. So much better. This will help to get rid of the product buildup on your scalp. Um, and it will actually help with the prolonging your hair between washes. 
um that is literally what i've written down and <laughs> i've also got um another product that helps is this this is my godsend i love it when i want to properly remove any build up i get i get a really bad dry scalp um like psoriasis -y kind of dry scalp this is such a good product so i wash my hair twice anyway have i got that written down i didn't oh my god i didn't write it down i'm surprised i to get help get the grime off of your scalp and like your roots you know like when you're you go between washes and you've got like all the oil double shampoo <laughs> shampoo your hair once rinse it out shampoo twice now this is what i use sometimes for my double shampoo sometimes i'll just use my normal shampoo this is the briogeo scalp revival charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo this paired with paired with the tangle teaser massager absolutely fucking amazing this is like a it smells so good it smells like um mint choc chip ice cream it's so lovely um it's got like um I don't know if it's sh why am I dropping everything today? This is not the first video I filmed that I've dropped everything. Um, I think it's got like bits of they're not like beads or anything like that. It's like micro fine sugar particles is what I can explain it as, and it they dissolve with water. So you, I put that on my scalp, massage it in where I need it most, which is mainly around like here, and like around my hairline and like in the back here. God, I'm having to duck. <sighs> this this is just gonna keep moving honestly what's wrong with this anyway um but yeah and then you rinse it you like use the scalp brush and like go over your entire head and like give yourself a proper massage and then rinse everything out also just keeping your hair nice and hydrated with a like um a hair mask using leave-in conditioner um using like conditioner sprays during the week Trust me. Helps the health of your hair too. Oh, this is this is the thing that this is the tip that I did earlier and I wanted to I did it earlier so I could show you befores and afters. So adding the hair colour you use to a hair mask or your conditioner. Um so when you're when dyeing your hair you mix up a bit more than you need and add some of it to like a hair mask or your conditioner that you're using and um with with a with, a, with the conditioner you'd use it every time you wash your hair with a hair mask i refresh my hair once every month or so this is mine <laughs> if you're curious as to what hair dye i've got in my hair right now it is um bleach london i saw red and then it's got i've got crazy color vermilion red i think that's how you say it and in here this was filled to the brim when i did it for the first time this has also got that mixture with um the garnier watermelon hair mask so i just use this this i just keep this tub with it in um and refresh my hair like once every month or so um and I, i'll pop in a before clip now before i wash my hair i wash my hair then put it in and left it for like half an hour but it's essentially just dyeing your hair again but it just helps to refresh because my hair was looking a bit pinky before and i hated it but it's because i've been using warm water recently because it's been so bloody cold and i've been ill and i don't want to be using cold water when i'm ill um especially not with an ear infection that does not sound fun but yeah that is what i can um i can attest to i've done this quite a few times with multiple hair dyes also um oh what are they called gypsy shrine do the hair drop dye dropper bottles um so whatever hair color you have you can mix that in with your conditioner or shampoo not shampoo conditioner or hair mask and create your custom color um i did this when i had peach hair actually but you can do that and add it to your conditioner and then it's vibrant and it yeah it just doesn't change the consistency so that's good um, and then the last thing I've got is really looking after your hair. So I don't know why I put this. I think I just, it's, it helps to keep the vibrancy. It just helps your health hair, health hair, 
hair health overall. So one of the things I've got is keeping your hair moisturised, using hair masks, leave-in conditioners, deep treatments, conditioning sprays when brushing. I don't do this as much as I should. I also would invest in decent hair brushes. I've got tangle teasers on the go. I've also got down here, because I got recommended it, a wet brush pro. Um, I haven't even opened it yet and I've had it for like a week. I should open it because I really want to use it, but I haven't yet. Um, I've got everything's for me. Um, oh, another tip would be um, don't use as much, don't use heat. Don't try not to use as much heat as you can. I have used heat twice on my hair today, but that's probably the only time this week I'll use heat. Um, and it's because I dry, blow dry my hair and I straightened it straight off, not straight after, like a few hours after. But I won't do my hair any other times this week. So be gentle, invest in your brushes, use scrunchies over hair ties. I have to use hair ties for work, otherwise my hair will fall out within an hour. Um, and I need my hair to last like 13 hours. So I have to use <laughs> I have to use hair ties. Um, oh, don't yank your hair when brushing, be gentle. So I'd recommend brushing from, why is my hair not behaving today? Brushing your hair from like the ends and the mids and then the top. Um, also, don't brush your hair when it's wet as much as you can. Understandable if your hair's really tangly when you get out of the shower or from washing your hair. Um, I use a wet tooth comb when I've got conditioner or a hair mask in. Um, and then I'll I I will brush it a little bit when it's wet. But again, I've got dedicated blow dry brush it's the tangle tees blow dry brush there's a lot of hair in here i probably should have cleaned this and i also have the wet version of the tangle teaser um but yeah so yeah that's what i recommend um if you've got any other tips leave them in the comments for me i will leave a video um in the description box of um, how to train your hair because i am the worst of to explain it because i've never washed my hair every day i've never washed my hair more than twice a week so i can never i can't tell you how i do it because i've always done this um from when i was little my mum used to wash my hair twice a week not even that probably like once a week um but yeah i'll leave vid people's videos down in the description box i recommend the youtuber abby young it's spelled a b b e y i think young is spelled the same let me just have a look on the YouTube, <laughs> on the YouTube, uh, Abby, oh yeah, so it's spelled A-B-B-E-Y-Y-U-N-G, um, this is her channel, um, just as an overview, she's pretty, she's blonde, but yeah, anyway, I will see you guys in the next video, my best friend's trying to call me, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video, so bye guys.